everyone, Kelly here, and I'm really excited to share with you an announcement for a month-long readathon coming in January. And this was inspired because I was thinking with all the holidays and all kind of the busyness of December, I wanted to kind of focus on starting off my new year of reading with like shorter works. So whether that's short stories or novellas or, you know, shorter things, um, just to kind of like, I just can't imagine like picking up a giant tome right now. And so I just think that that would help kickstart my 2023 reading is to read short things. And I was like, why not make this a readathon that everybody can participate in? So I asked my friend Kara from Wild Book Garden if she would be willing to join me in hosting this. And she was really excited to do this as well. And so we created the Short Stack Readathon. And the reason we're calling it the Short Stack Readathon is because we're doing something a little different with the prompts. So I'll put up the board so you can see kind of how the prompts work. And the way this is, is, is it's a point building type of prompt system, but without being competitive. So you're not like joining teams to see who can read the most. You're just kind of seeing what your total score is going to be for the month, or you could even just do this for a week since they're short things, however you want to do it. And the prompts are, you know, like each row adds on prompt as on points. And so you might decide that all you want to do for the entire month of January is just to read a few short stories. So say you read 10 short stories over the month of January, short stories are worth one point since they're in the top row. And so you would have a total of 10 points at the end of the readathon. But say you want to kind of mix things up and maybe you read two short stories and an essay, that's three points because short stories are each one point and essay is one point and then you picked up a novella which is three points and then you finished a, sh a poetry collection that also so that's four points plus three points for the novella three points for your short stories and essays you also have 10 points so it can be like however you want to customize this readathon so you can just completely decide you could do everything on the prompt board and you know if you want to just do one for each thing great. Or if you're like, I only want to focus on one kind of short work, that's, that's fine. Or you can mix things up however you want on this prompt board. And it'll just like, you'll be able to cal calculate your points. You can use this however you want, like on Instagram or whatever, and like use tallies or check marks, or just put the number that you put in each one. Or if you're only reading one thing for each prompt, then put a picture of it or write the name of what you're reading. However you want to use these in your, whether you print it off and use it for yourself, or you put it on social media, it's very highly customizable. And so then I created a graphic that you can kind of share individual things that you are reading. So this one, you can tell us what prompts you're using because you can double up on the prompts. So you might read a short story that is from one of your favorite genres or favorite authors. So that's two different prompts, what your score is by adding this onto your list and then sh put a graphic or write down what short story you wrote in the big box. And you know, you can use this to tell us several things at once or just one thing at a time. However you want to use these graphics. That's the great thing about this readathon. It's very like open to interpretation. You can kind of use these graphics however you want. You can build your TBR however you want because there's no like specific prompts. It's really just reading a bunch of different kinds of short works. And we were kind of thinking that the guidelines would be that these would all be things under 250 pages, but we're not going to be policing that. So if you think that a short novel is something that's 280 pages, sure, it's your readathon, do it however you want. And please update us throughout the, the month. If you have, you know, Instagram, you can tag us while you're updating and we can just kind of see what you're up to, what you're reading how your points are going. And I'm just really excited for this because I really want to start the new year reading some short things. Also check both of our channels or our Instagram and we will be having reading sprints at some point. We don't have them specifically scheduled right now, but we're planning on having some reading sprints at some point during the month so that we can read short things together. I know this is a time when there are a lot of videos going on. And so if you see this and you kind of forget about it, we will be posting our TBRs at the very beginning of January with a reminder about the readathon. And we really hope that you will participate with us.